Diane Roberts is an eighth-generation Floridian, born and raised in Tallahassee. Her family legacy at Florida State University can be traced back to her great-great-grandfather, a cadet at the Florida Seminary west of the Suwannee in the 1860s. Diane began attending FSU football games when she was nine years old, kicking off a love-hate relationship with the game which eventually led to authoring a book on the subject. After earning both a bachelor's and master's degree from Florida State, Diane was awarded a Marshall Scholarship to study at Oxford University in England, where she later earned a PhD in American Literature. In 1983, Diane started writing for the Florida Flambeau, FSU's independent, student-run newspaper. She thought the Florida legislature might be an entertaining subject and began the column Das Capital, a satirized take on the business of governing. While working on her doctorate at Oxford, Diane would return to Tallahassee each year for the legislative session and produce Das Capital under the byline D.K. Roberts. In 1990, she returned to the States to teach, publishing three books, multiple scholarly journal articles, and many newspaper and magazine columns in the intervening years. Diane has been a commentator for National Public Radio since 1993 and is also a frequent contributor to the BBC, making radio documentaries as well as writing and voicing essays on political and social issues. In 2006, Diane came home to Tallahassee where she is now professor of literature and creative writing. She is the originator of Fresh Picked Prose, showcasing the work of FSU creative writing students on WFSU, has served on the board of the Florida Wildlife Federation, and advises Word of South, Tallahassee's annual literary festival. She continues to write regularly for the Washington Post, The Guardian, and various magazines on both sides of the Atlantic. Diane is featured in the ESPN documentary College Football 150, The American Game, set for release in 2019. Her columns have won six journalism awards, her work has appeared in Best American Food Writing, and her essays have been named among the most distinguished American essays of the year. In recognition of her continued work that embodies the seminal spirit, the FSU Libraries and Friends of the Libraries is proud to present Diane Roberts with the Alumni Award for Distinguished Writing. I want to thank uh, the University Libraries and the Friends of the Library so much for this award. It is wonderful. Um, I told them at the time that they told me I had won the thing that, you know, I'd been sitting around thinking of who to nominate for it because Florida State has graduated so many amazing writers. And there are so many writers who teach at Florida State who you all have heard of. We're really good at the writing thing. Um, we publish a lot. We've got a Pulitzer Prize winner and a National Book Award winner. And um, it's pretty astonishing to find those at the same university, um, much less you know, having even more writers that just live in Tallahassee because they want to. Um, the libraries at FSU have always meant a lot to me. I used to hang out at uh, Strozier on the fifth floor, because in olden times, that's where the Dewey Decimal books were kept. <laughs> and you could read around, you found all these extraordinary old books, you know, that no one had touched in years, and I'd just sit there on the floor and read them. Uh, I've, I've really been at Florida State since I was five years old. Um, not because I was a prodigy, but because I went to the university school. And we belonged to Florida State, and we knew that. Um, most of my friends' parents were professors at Florida State. And you know, we just assumed always that we could do anything we wanted because we were already at college, <laughs> even though we were in kindergarten. <laughs> So you can imagine um, what, a, what a race of well-read brats we were. But um, it's really wonderful that the university recognizes writing. And it's particularly wonderful for me because I came back here after teaching for a long, long time at the University of Alabama, which I loved despite, you know, I mean, I'm sure there are people going like, oh my God. Roll Tide, nothing. Um, it's where it finally dawned on me, and I promise you it hadn't before, that college football was weird. <laughs> you know, but it was 
it was not weird to me because I grew up with it. I started going to FSU games when I was nine years old. I really did. Um, and I learned football from women. Uh, two, the two who taught it to me are here. My mother, Betty Roberts, who graduated from FSU, and our friend Charlotte Williams, who graduated from FSU several times. She's Dr. Charlotte Williams. And uh, Charlotte likes to say she's known me since before I was born. This is true, um, since she was a very good friend of my father's at Leon High School. Um, my family's been around here for a long, long time. It's like they found a, a swamp and said, we like that one, we'll stay there. <laughs> so Wakala County, and, and as my granny Roberts used to say, you know, they sat in the swamp until law school was invented and then they commenced to politic and <laughs> <laughs> Granny did not say that with any, any approval in her voice. <laughs> Granny took a dim view. She had a lot of lawyers and politicians in the family, but Granny was like, no not having it. But I am glad to see there's a room full of lawyers and politicians, uh, some of whom have, who have become really good university presidents. Um, <laughs> we are all grateful to them, but particularly wonderful people here that I'm so glad to see. Mrs. Askew, uh, who I, I went, had writing lessons with her daughter. Um, and Sandy and Patsy, uh, Sandy Dallenbert and Patsy Palmer, who are two of the greatest legal minds you'd ever want to find, and forces for good in the world. And that's what this university does. It's one of the things it does. It teaches people how to be a force for good by teaching the university students, and that's what we're all hoping to teach them, not just a thing, a thing that they can say, I can do this thing, so give me a job doing the thing that they have taught me to do, whatever that thing is. That's important, but far more important is teaching how to think, teaching people how to assess the world, how to examine what they hear, how to question what they're told, and how to assess it. And that's what we do as teachers. Whatever the field, that's what we do. How do you think? Do you think this is true or that is true? What's your evidence? How do you understand what you think you know or what you believe? And this university is really good at that. When I was an undergraduate, that's what my teachers did. I had the most extraordinary teachers. Janet Burroway, the novelist. Uh, Jerome Stern, the late Jerome Stern, who was uh, for years on the board of the Florida Flambeau and who said to me, so I was a very, very scholarly kid one time as he read some painful, learned but painful term paper I had written, he said, you know, you could learn to write for humans. <laughs> and sent me off to the Flambeau where um, they were kind of extra human down there. Um, those people remain some of my dearest friends after many, many, many years. And that's the thing about us all. We went out into the world with a sense that we weren't supposed to just sit back and make money or kind of take what we were given, but try to advance causes, whatever they were. Try to advance truth, try to advance critical thinking and questioning and always being engaged in the world. And whether that is my current obsession, which is where can we rent an offensive line? <laughs> I'll, I'll pay half. to what are we going to do about the people to the west of us. And I mean, Tallahassee had some bad hits, but I want y'all to think about Mexico Beach and Mariana and all of Calhoun County, which looks like bombs went off in it. 
So you can go online. If you look up help for Jackson County, uh, help for West Florida, help for Mexico Beach, you'll find various places you can you know, donate or send things. Or There are lots and lots of them. And I think that's particularly important. We have a lot of students from West Florida. And bad as it looks in parts of Tallahassee, it is much, much worse to the west of us. And one of the things we're good at doing at this university is thinking beyond ourselves, even thinking beyond that offensive line that I'm fixated on. Um, but you know, I'm glad we're I'm glad we're playing a football game. But please still remember to go and donate, and um, whatever you're told, question it. Thank you.